Hey everyone, on today's story from the solar hood, we're gonna talk with Jeanette about her solar installation and how she used it to get a movement going. So let's go. So hello everyone, it's Luke here from Solar Hood. Uh, on today's story from the Solar Hood, we're gonna talk with Jeanette about this great installation behind us. Um, so thanks for taking the time and sharing yeah, your thank stories. Thank you, yeah. thank you. So we start these interviews usually with, really what got you into solar in the first place? What motivated you to put in solar? Um, and just in talking with you, it sounds like you've been very environmentally conscious for quite some time. So tell us a little bit about that. Well, I've always been interested in it. We've always looked at you know, try to get a sense of what it is that we can do to make a difference and a big concern about climate change and global mm -hmm. warming. Mm -hmm. And we had attended a climate event where there were two speakers and the first speaker uh, really set the stage for which set the stage for something that's pretty scary with yeah. about global warming. Talked about the real impact. The real impact yeah. and and then the second speaker really talked a lot about uh, really what is some of the technology and how the oh, technology is yeah. out there, although we're having trouble and bringing those two together. And it's changing quite a bit. And it's changing even all today. the time. Yeah. So that, and um, in the previous night, our granddaughter had spent the night with us, our eight month old grandbaby. And I just felt the need to be able to be more involved and see what we could do to make an impact for our Future kids. Future generations. Our so our it kind of just all sunk in. Yeah. 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 Cool. Yeah. And then I had the opportunity at that event just to talk with some solar installers. Mm -hmm. And they offered to come out and do a, just a free evaluation and estimate yeah. and that that's where it started and I guess before that you even said that it seemed so inaccessible yes. right but this conversation and just exploring that and asking exactly. some simple questions you were like oh I get the technology it's not that hard and, exactly oh and by the way my roof is great for it so Exa exactly. it kind of went from there exactly it seemed like how in the world would anybody put solar panels on and mm -hmm. actually have electricity that worked mm -hmm. you know I had this envision of it mm -hmm. being hooked up to something battery out mm -hmm. someplace and when but I saw how easy it worked seamlessly it was seamlessly yeah. And, yeah, cool. and so yeah awesome okay well tell us some technical details how big is the installation we have an eight 0.7 kilowatt system. We have 30 panels. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Mm -hmm. That's a sizable. That's mm -hmm. actually a really good system. Our so goal was was to be net zero. Yeah. You know, okay. And so we we tried to figure out, we calculated what it would be to be net zero, and we're really close to that. Right. And it's because it's a big installation. I mean, it's mm -hmm. it should offset most of your electricity bill. Um, we, so in the as last you said, 27 net zero. months, we've had five months where we've had. We've used some some of the KCPNL's energy, so, mm -hmm. so we're net Mostly zero. Mostly net zero. Net zero. Yeah, so no energy charges. That's great. Yes. Cool. Right. Well, well done. Yes. Prior to the um, solar panels, we'd actually done quite a bit of ins insulation and, and energy and efficiency. Energy efficiency, and prior yeah, to that, cool. our energy bills were probably anywhere between 100 to 300 a month, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. uh, now we're you know 10 or 15. Yeah. Just, just for the usage fees. Wow, that's cool. <laughs> so, yeah. Good. Yes. Um, well, savings is a big part of why people go solar, mm -hmm. and so it sounds like you nailed it on the savings side we of things. We did, we did. All right, well, tell me about the installation a little bit, mm -hmm. you know, how did that go, you know, and also if you had any issues, you know, we'd be interested in hearing that as well. Well, and if it was smooth sailing, you know, that's fine you with know, us too. <laughs> it was, um, there was some time lapses in, in the process, and it really had to do with just getting some of the approval processes yeah. in place. And our installers kind of notified, kind of warned us of that and yeah. said, Jeanette's that's way it's going to be. You're going to have yeah. some, you know. So from the time we signed a contract mm -hmm. in like October, we were, we were, had our panels on in December. Okay. And we were op operating mm -hmm. by March. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So it, it takes time, but knowing that in, a, in advance helped mm -hmm. set expectations. And, yeah. I mean, and you were excited to get solar. We but. were excited. We could not wait. When they were once yeah. they were on the roof, we were count, we were every day we come home to yeah. see whether or not they'd done what we could do so we could flip yeah. the switch. Checking that meter, seeing yeah, if check. it's going this way. Exactly, or, yeah. exactly. Awesome. They did have to do. Um, actually, didn't have to. We decided we wanted to take advantage of, the, of that at that time to go ahead and put in, do it, redo our roof. Oh yeah. And oh, we, okay, also, good. we also did some electrical upgrades. Yeah, so. so those things are good things to consider when right. you're exactly. undertaking a big project. Exactly. You know, it's like any other home improvement project. Exactly. It's not just the one thing you're thinking right. about. Right. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Cool. Well, the next question I have, well, the last question really is, how do you see the future of solar um, in your community and just in general? 
Well, I think once the word gets out and people really begin to see how it really works and how easy it is, mm -hmm. um, and what the where the cost, potential cost savings are, cost savings are, I think it's really going to take off. Yeah, cool. And I also was just I also um, do a lot of walking, mm -hmm. and and I'm always noticing on the on the rooftops that yeah. I'm thinking. First of all, I always notice if there's solar panels, and I, I look for every opportunity to slip it into a conversation. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> so, so you're spreading the word. I'm too. spreading the word yeah. as much as I get. Well, it sounds like. Other friends of yours have gone solar too. We have, so we've had, kind of we've had around. five, mm -hmm. five friends install solar as well as our church. Cool. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks, Jeanette. It was a joy chatting with you about your solar installation. We really appreciate your time. Well, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. And tag your friend and hashtag Solarhood. Yeah. And so, like Jeanette said, go out there on your social channels, tag one friend that you think would benefit from this solar experience, and use the hashtag Solarhood. So that's it for today. We'll see you next time.